maybe you're pursuing CA, giving IPCC, or you are at a CA final level, or let's say you have even completed your CA, then this video is going to be really helpful for you. So make sure you watch it till the end. Hi everyone, I am ACC Disha Chauhan of Proud Fin Drama, and today I will be telling you why you should pursue ACCA as a CA student. So let's say you are a CA student, maybe you are doing CA like you have just started and you know you are at the IPCC level or let's say you are at the final level and you're thinking you know I'm going to be a CA, why should I go for ACC? Well let me share something with you. ACC is recognized over 180 plus countries. ACC follows IFRS which are the International Financial Reporting Standards. This is something more and more countries are adopting. So it is important, it is going to be important in the future that you are well versed with it because in CA you are not learning you know about IFRS. So IFRS is something which is covered by ACC. Now, as a CA final student or, you know, let's say you've completed your CA, you're thinking, I'm already a chartered accountant or I'm going to be a chartered accountant. Why should I do ACCA, right? You might be thinking that. So firstly, let's say you've completed your chartered accountancy. So, you know, why you should do ACCA? Like I said, it is recognized around the globe and not just in India. In India, of course, you can, you know, you already are a CA, you are thinking that, oh, I can already work wherever I want to. But with ACCA, your global door opportunities also opens. And like I said, IFR is something which is, you know, you have to think about it because in the future, many countries have now adopted IFRS and this number is increasing day by day. So it is important that you are well versed with it. And as a CA student, like final CA that you've completed it, you are going to get exemptions, right? So you will get time exemptions from ACCA. So all you have to do is give the professional level papers and you will also have another degree. So why not do that? Let's say you are a CA final student and you're thinking, now why should I do ACCA? I will just clear my CA very soon. Well, hopefully you will. We all want that. But let's say, you know, you are giving attempts and attempts. You've given four attempts five attempts and you're not yet clear. Now you're starting to feeling a little demotivated, right? You're thinking, why, why this one paper? I'm not able to clear my degree is stuck because of this. Now you need to have another backup plan. Now I'm not asking you leave CA, you know, you have given so many attempts, you're at your final level, just forget this degree. No, you can keep on trying, no doubt, uh, you know, harm in that, but Go for ACC. Again, of course, it is, you know, the above two points are valid for you as well that 180 plus countries recognized, IFRS, but also you really don't have a degree at this point of time. Maybe you have done BCom or BBA, something like that, but you don't really have a professional degree. You are giving attempts after attempts and you are stuck. With ACCA, there is flexibility. You know, you can give paper one at a time. There are four settings. You have the choice to give which, whichever sitting you want to. You can give the March sitting and then decide, I don't want to give the June sitting or I, you can decide that I want to give both the sittings. You can decide which paper you want to give in which sitting and also you can decide whether I want to just give one paper at a time or two paper at a time. So that's why this flexibility is something which ACC is offering, which of course CA doesn't offer. There's grouping system and because of that, so many students, you know, are not able to complete it. So have another plan just don't be disappointed that oh i'm not able to you know complete my ca i'm at the last level it's okay hopefully it will happen sooner or later but pursue acc as well because you are also getting exemptions right and of course other there are other benefits right from your global opportunities to ifrs to flexibility to big mncs big foes everybody is hiring acc so of course you know, go with that as well. And I'm not asking you to leave your CA degree. You can still try and, you know, to give those attempts. Then there's another category. Students who have just started with, let's say, CA. You, let's say you are CA IPCC and you have failed a few times. You've given few attempts and now you're thinking whether I should continue CA or maybe I should, you know, just leave it. There's so many students who have this query. Now, for me, I would say 
if you are at the IPCC level, so if you are the, the final level, like I said, I'm not discouraging you from doing CA. You do CA, you keep on giving your attempt, but also do ACC, right? I said. But if you're at the IPCC level, and let's say you've given already four or more attempts, and you're not yet cleared, then maybe it's time to change your direction. Maybe go in a different direction, and now go for ACC because you've already wasted a lot of time and effort and money and you know you want something you want a degree uh, because at the end of the day you know that is what is going to land you a job so maybe now it's time to move on even though it's going to be difficult maybe you had just decided about it that no i have to do see but see you are at an ipcc level you have not yet cleared that you know you are you have given let's say more than four attempts that's why i'm saying you are trying okay one attempt you didn't do again try it then again try but now it's been four attempts or more so maybe instead of wasting time and energy on that choose acc because acc is providing you with all those benefits right you are getting a professional degree you are essentially becoming a global accountant and those who think that oh acc is just like for countries like europe only or uk only no it is well recognized in india as well Many people, I myself as an ACC have worked in big fours and many people do so. So even as a CA, you would work in big fours. The only difference is, of course, the signing authority. But apart from that, this opens a door of, you know, opportunities globally. Like I said, IFRS is something everyone is any which way is doing. As many CAs, they, if not ACC, they do the diploma in IFRS. So this is something you have to keep in mind. Then there is flexibility because ACC is so flexible, you will be able to clear it. You know, passing rate is high than CA because of this flexibility factor. Nobody is saying ACC is easier than CA. You know, that if you are, uh, you know, the study context, uh, ACC will be easier. The thing is, because ACC is so flexible, the passing rate is comparatively better than CA. There's no grouping system. Students are given a lot more, you know, flexibility which of course is very important especially if you're let's say working or studying uh, in a college or something like that so all of this then adds up and builds up a lot of more pressure but ACC then gives you those flexibility to release that pressure and stress so consider ACC and you know I'm not discouraging you and asking you to just uh, you know to stop doing CA but I'm telling you if you're stuck at that point and you've given a lot of attempts and now you are getting disappointed and demotivated well then just think about it once that ACC is another door and it will bring a lot of opportunities to you so don't get disheartened and you can visit our website and you know even follow our YouTube channel for more videos on ACC learn about that and of course we have made videos on exemptions and everything so you can have a look at that, what all you could get. If you have any queries or comments regarding that, you could also put it in the comment box and we will be happy to answer. All the very best and, you know, keep these things in mind before you make a decision. Uh, we are just there to guide you and whatever you decide, it is going to be, you know, your, it is your life at the end of the day. So whatever you decide. Uh, think about it that you know you have put in a lot of time effort already in a degree and you're not able to achieve it so do you want to put in more time resources in that or choose a path or go in that direction where you can where you can actually see the light so all the very best this is acc disha chauhan signing off